So this one's going to be quick. Basic requirement is just to have a website for basic requirement three. And then you just have to put in your images. They'll actually have to be interactive here. Um, but you know, look, let's just make them interactive anyway, because we're going to do the advanced requirements. So yeah, there you go. There's my, and I'm going to use also Python Flask again, because I'm going to use that in basic requirements. So here's how you do it. One, go up to your previous code that we left off and you just add in from Flask, import Flask render template, right? Then you add on this little bit of code at the end. That's why I finished off doing my plotting stuff. And I just make it an app name. This is my app root. If you can look, if you want to know how to do this, watch my Flask and five video from like two days ago. It'll go through some more detail. I'm going to get my page and I'm going to render the three charts that I made right up here. See, I, that's why I can uncomment them because I got them running right down here. Then I changed my port to something that works. Sometimes you've got to change that a whole bunch and I press go. Okay. Now wait, this won't work for you until you have done the following folder organization, right? You must there, you must find your, your Python file. Then you must make a blank folder, go new folder called templates, new folder called static. You must have it written like that. No caps. It's looking for these, right? This is part of how Flask works. In your templates, we'll go all of your web pages. Again, this is covered in the Flask video, right? So that's my index.html. And then uh, in static, you can put in your CSS because that's probably going to be the same CSS styling for all your web pages. So there's no need to individually do the CSS for each one unless you really want to, right? Um, so I'm going to just run this. Oh, I already did. Whoops. Well, we run it again. And then we click here. And it opens up and look at this. Okay. Now, um, I didn't put in the proper <laughs> text up here because <laughs> I did it real quickly. Look, you notice it puts in your, your, your graphs here and up the top. <laughs> gosh. Yeah, not great. Yeah. Welcome to my website. And this might seem silly, but you do need a, a, like a few paragraphs here explaining your topic because that's what it says for basic requirement, requirement there. It says, look, um, boop, ba -doop, ba -doop, create a separate area for information system. Nope, that was advanced. <laughs> Create a, a interactive web page, yeah, to provide public with information about your chosen data set. All right, so your web page must firstly pop up with a paragraph or two about doggies, about chicken bill rolls, about motorbikes, about remote control airplanes, anything you want, right? So, uh, and then you get onto your like stats of drones, remote control airplanes, cats versus dogs over time. You know, you, you can't just be your graphs, all right? Because, um, well, that's how I read it anyway, because uh, it does say there's an A and a B, and B is the graph. So A presumably is either the web page itself or the web page and a little bit information, all right? So um, that you can see if I was to open up that um, templates on this web page here, I'm going to open it up. There it is. Okay, so that's why it's it's like a, a total train wreck here because I've just put in the thing. Look, you can make your whole paragraph and tell me all about your pet squirrel. And that's why you're doing your project on pet squirrel stats right there. I'm not going to write that for you. Okay, but that's how to do the technical information. And we are now done. In fact, we're done early. And I think I'll just shave. Two weeks to shave. It took me two weeks to shave that beard. <laughs> One more thing I just realized. I thought I'd just, you know, show you this here where I put in the content. I just put it in as a list form. So maybe you could put in your research if you want. I have some research here on chicken fillet rolls. No placeholders here. I did actual research just like I found chicken roll prices. You're welcome to read it. I'm not going to read through it. But I will say one thing that really confused me was because <laughs> I got this article and kind of changed it a little bit, but it said no actual chest meat. And I was like, I can't believe they call it chest meat. Like the, who calls it chicken chest meat? That's so. It turns out I had installed. This. <laughs> <laughs> this was my masterpiece where I made a Chrome extension um, and then I forgot I installed it to test it out. Uh, you should leave a five star review of this after you install it on your friend's computer. It will make them extremely polite. It replaces all offensive words with similar sounding non-offensive words. So it was basically because I live in terror of every time I browse the internet without freezing the projector when I Google totally innocuous, harmless things, 
it's the internet you know especially when you click images who knows what's going to show up so um now this this works even if i type in like hell heck you know there you go so that's why I, when i typed in chicken yeah there you go chicken jest for the three advanced requirement videos those guys and for the massive 100 page uh, 2025 project guide and that's um the whole project broken down into you know how to do the investigation how big should your flow chart be how to do a flow chart what are your options here are some things you could write for this part where do people go wrong where do they lose marks all the mistakes i've seen from correcting them over the years kind of sorry microphone <laughs> into one um into one big long document which i've done every year but i'm just putting up for the first time this year go down to the description i put it on patreon patreon for as low as the slider would go which i think is three euro uh it's in the shop so there's no like subscription just click down that